how to use level 2 market data. Hello traders, today we'll talk about market data levels 1, 2, 3. And uh, this question is something that I just got a few days ago from, from one of the YouTube uh, subscribers, Joel, here on the YouTube channel FX Sigur. And uh, it is uh, correlated with trading view because a lot of traders that use uh, trading view and some other platforms ask themselves do i need market to level data because a lot of people don't know what is that so i just check on several uh i just check several videos on youtube and i figure out that a lot of videos are so complicated about this topic so i just decide to create one simple video about this so first the question what are the market data levels market data levels represent information about current prices and recently completed trades so market data level you can see if you use platforms like Bloomberg Terminal, Reuters Icon, TradingView, Interactive Brokers, Amory Trade, Robinhood, Dtrade, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, and Ali Invest. So this, these uh, platforms offer to clients market data level one two and three. So let me start from the beginning. Level one market data displays the best bid offer volume quotes in the real time and gives information about the bid price, bid size, ask price, last price and last size. So just below here on this this image here on this slide you can see how that looks like so in trading view you can see the bid price bid size ask price ask size last price and of course after that you can tr create a buy or sell order using this kind of information so all of you in your trading life even if you use MetaTrader platform you know what is the level one market data when we talk about for example stock so this is something very very simple but what is the level two market data and this is the little bit complicated the level two market data displays the bad bid offer volume quotes in real time market depth and the order book where most orders are concentrated among the market makers so level two market data is uh, one advanced so another step of information that you can get about brokerage info about your stock that you want to buy or sell so this is the something just everything that you have from the level one the basic information about your stock for example and additional information and right now we're watching this image right it on the slide that you watch so let me zoom zoom a little bit just to see better so as you can see you can see the total volume the bid price the highest bid the lowest bid you can see this is most important list of orders to sell so the market will sell shares to you so you you have a huge list and additional information that you can use before you make a trade so this kind of info some traders use especially i will take take i will just talk about for myself for a not so famous stock example, i like to have information for some smaller stock just to see the be the nest price but i will show you later how to use this information so how to use level two market data so level two data can be useful tool for analyzing supply and demand for a stock and for identifying potential support and resistance levels so how i can do that in real trading so i'm trading for example and trading view and i purchase a special additional uh, premium level trading view and then i can have information about market data level two i can see a level two data i can see some some other buy and sell orders that offer for me and i can see the numbers and everything so how i can use that i use my chart and i have a technical analysis on that chart i have support i have resist and i know that level when i know that i watch the table so we have a table here as you can see on this table we have a various price 175.26.25 etc etc but look this do you see this blue wrist angle that shows potential support what you can see 
you see the numbers 26, 5, 45. So these are big numbers. There is a lot of, a lot of trades and orders around this number, about this price level. So the price level 175.15 is potential support. Of course, I will not make this conclusion without the chart. So I will watch my chart. I will check this. And if my chart and this number match, so 175.15 is my support, potential support, I will accept that info and I will use that information for my trade. Maybe I will put the stop loss, maybe a few pips, maybe I will enter here, depends on my strategy. The same thing here, you have two one two one two one two and now you have a six three four so potential resistance is around 175.6 here you have some potential resistance and then because of that i'm watching that zone to see on my technical point of view is that zone really resistance for me and if it yes i will consider that as port and price level and i will use for my trade point of view so as i said how to use the level to market data you can use it very easily to make confirmation related to your support and resist. I know that a lot of traders that use MetaTrade or TradingView, a lot of traders that trade with a few thousand dollars, maybe a few hundred dollars. I, I know that maybe you are not interested in this that I'm talking right now. But if you become a, a trader who manage a lot of money, you know when you become that kind of trader, support and resistance level and every single trade because you manage a lot of money every single trade it can be potential huge loss in that case you really need to think a lot about support and resistance and because of that you can use this kind of strategy to make confirmation and to see real data that match with technical analysis what i can tell right now is on the next slide, we can see what is the level free market data. Market free data level provides all the information, information and services on level one, level two, plus the ability to enter exchange selections, execute orders. But for the most important thing, you got some special information about market makers and all this stuff are not important. Why? Because you, my friend, and me, we are not this league. Because the level free service is restricted to member firms of National Association of Securities Dealers. So only the big dogs and big, big heads can use this market level free data. So it's out of the scope. So it's not important for this video, for YouTube video, but I just want to tell you that there is a more deeper insight, more deeper information about market level data and it's a level free market data and on the end if you want to do this on the trading view uh you have trading view one market data level every single day when you can see the price range and you want to create a trade but if you want to get a level two you need to connect with your broker because your broker need to enable you to get this kind of information and uh for example if you use a uh, tick mail broker interactive broker trading station and etc etc you will have opportunity down window to make this kind of connection first you go to trading you set here do you want to show price levels tinted order placements etc and then you will get the opportunity to to see the price and sell offers you can see like this in trading view and on the end you can choose do you want to buy or sell but like i said uh for the small traders for uh, the ordinary traders this kind of trading is really advanced information i know i just want to tell you if you ever become a trader that manage a lot of money of course if you trade stocks please enable your account or your brokerage account and use these these market tool levels because you really can get better insight about price levels resistance support you can get confirmation about this level you can see other traders what market offer you so this is the good chance i wish you great day and bye bye